Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm just getting ready for my shift tonight. I'm gonna be real quick because I'm kind of running a little bit late on time. So I'll talk to you guys when I'm there. If you like EDM, I've been listening to this playlist. I don't know who it's by, but it's really good and I listen to it all the time now because it's like a summer EDM playlist. Okay y'all, uh, first of all, I really need to get a stand because this isn't adequate enough for me to be able to talk during my drives. But anyway, I am on my way to my fourth shift. I'm still a little bit behind, but I should be caught up by next week because this week I've actually doubled up on my shifts and the next week I'm also doubling up on my shifts because the week six is next week and I'm only on my fourth shift this week and then I'll be on my fifth on like Thursday and then Saturday I think is my sixth shift and after that I'm just getting one shift a week but yeah it's gonna be one of those rough weeks on on the other hand like I know if you watch my other vlog you know that I lost my stethoscope and it was like my mom's stethoscope and it was one of those really good um, Litman ones so I tried to buy another one and it was like $50 but personally personally I don't like it that much so I actually found my stethoscope in my gym bag which was really bizarre I don't know why it's in there ah, so I found it in there this morning so I'm gonna return my other stethoscope thank god because stethoco stethoscopes are really expensive and I didn't want to buy another one but I didn't want to like not have a stethoscope on me because that's like really bad. I want to talk a little bit more about what's been going on this term. And for those of you who keep asking about preceptorship, let me tell you it's not even going that good. <laughs> but I'll get more into that later on. Um, I still need to kind of like situate myself. But I'm gonna be like 20 minutes early for my shift, but for now I'm gonna focus on driving because I don't have a tripod. Even though I'm just driving down one street, but yeah, let me just get back to you on that. But yeah, preceptorship isn't going too good. Like, I know that I said I'm gonna give my opinion at the end of this program, but I'm gonna give you my opinion of what the hell is going on with our system right now. So I'm pretty sure that today I'm gonna to be expecting, okay, I know I said I was focusing on driving, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to remember to put this in, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting like a visit from my clinical instructor. So even though you're on like one-to-one -one preceptorship and your preceptor is technically the person like grading you, um, there's a professor who is supposed to be like in charge of everything. Um, they're supposed to like check in on you, blah, blah, blah. And I think she's visiting us today. I don't know how many times they visit us. But, yeah. Oh, I'm in nursing, I think it's 498L, which just, the L is like clinical. Um, there's so much wrong with this course, and I don't know, like, I'd understand if this course was a new course, but this course has been going on for years and years, and they still haven't been able to perfect it. I understand that there's, like, kinks in, like, everything, and there's always, like, things that need to, there's always things that are outside of your control. Oh my god, why? Here we go again. I got an email from, I hate this class. Okay, now that I'm finally kind of situated. Um, okay. Maybe it's better now that I talk because now I'm kind of like, I was kind of like riled up earlier, but now after my like 30 minute drive, I feel a little bit more calm. But yeah, so, okay, sorry, I have to like situate all my like paperwork as well. But yeah, so this term, it honestly feels like a train wreck because our school's been very political lately, and I don't know if any of you saw my Snapchat, but I Snapchat like this mural that they apparently put up, something like student-centric something, and I feel like that was such 
that was so ironic because they're like anything but but they're trying to I understand that they're trying and that's why that thing probably went up but yeah I just thought that sign was really ironic maybe if I can find that clip I'll put it in here but I just thought that was funny because there's a lot of politics going on especially with instructors and like instructors are the backbone of a school so it's really hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that they would even hire instructors that they know aren't competent enough to be teaching students or have been having so many problems and are notorious for not grading fairly not teaching appropriately or not teaching at all and i think that it's important especially for our cohort because we're like this is our last class before we end up going into the real world i think it's so important for them to have good instructors during this term because okay you should always have good instructors throughout your whole nursing program but the reality is that no school has like the best instructors for every single course um but in my opinion i think okay if you have like a bad instructor in med surge one you still have time to improve because you can have another instructor that teaches you right from wrong when you go into med surge two but this is our last course and if we make mistakes there should be an instructor who catches those mistakes and teaches us the right way and i just don't feel that like i've gotten that learning experience i feel like the reason why my instructor is i just feel like they assume that we know everything already which we don't that's why we're in nursing school um they like assume that we know everything already and it really irks me because like we're trying but at the end of the day if our instructor doesn't know what they're doing there's no one who's teaching us like right from wrong and that's really hard and it's really hard for me to like even i don't know maybe that's just me it could be just my opinion but yeah it's our last course and i really was hoping for a better experience but you know you get what you get and you kind of just make the most out of that um okay i don't know why it keeps going out of focus i think it's because i'm moving but oh my gosh i found my old stethoscope oh thank god okay my camera might die so i don't know how much this is gonna film but yeah it's been really chaotic and i'm thankful that i've been benchmarking and everything because i've been benchmarking and everything except for farm that's the only one i didn't benchmark this week was ob and i took my med surge i did really well in ob for the most part well okay i didn't do really well i just benchmarked and i i did a little bit above the benchmark but i thought it was a little bit better than previous weeks Especially farm. Farm is like my weak point and I know that is. Um, yeah, but theory is okay. I I don't know, I'm just like kind of burnt out from, from clinical, I guess. Which I shouldn't be, I know, because I'm not even working right now and it's so annoying. But I kind of wish I was working because then I'd get more hands-on like hospital experience. But yeah, my hair's all the way up because technically we're supposed to have it all the way up. Um, I don't know where my watch went. I always find my watch whenever I don't need it. My thing died, but oh, I'm not ready to go. I even brought this ugly blazer because this is our uniform blazer that we're supposed to wear whenever we get cold. It's really ugly and I hate it. <laughs> but we already paid for it so I might as well wear it. So I'm gonna wear it if I get cold because usually around 4 a.m. I get super super cold because that's when it slows down and I'm not moving as much. But yeah it's like almost time so I'm gonna go now. See you guys later. Bye. I don't know if this is TMI, but I got this really bad cut when I was, like, 
pulling the tires or something at the gym and now it really hurts i need to put a band-aid on it i know it doesn't even stay on because i'm constantly like washing my hands and stuff but whenever i have like any type of friction on it it hurts so bad so i'm trying to like keep it like that for now okay bye everyone I like low-key almost forgot that I was vlogging but some someone brought in like some Starbucks I'm getting some coffee cake Starbucks it's like 10 p.m. right now I don't even know what to say I'll talk about it later but I just felt really shook at the beginning of the shift during shift change. I know it's like days later and I'm literally editing this video right now but I'll kind of address what I was talking about earlier but if you want to see this is a sneak peek of my grad cap and then yeah i'm trying to design it right now so what i was saying in the beginning of this vlog was that um during my shift i remember it was during shift change there was one patient who had an active gi bleed and i remember um they had told me to irrigate so i was just doing that family was trying to come in but like the patient was like starting to crash and everything and then I just remember that the doctor was saying he's going to die tonight. Like, it's not wrong to tell the, pa like the family and let them be more aware of what's going on. But I just felt like there was a better way to say it. And, like, the way he said it was almost, like, comical, which was, like, really, really bad. And it just really shook me because mom started to cry. It really, like, resonated with me. And I was like, wow, like... Bedside manner is such a real thing that we need to freaking address. <laughs> Imagine, I'm sure that that doctor like didn't know the effect, or maybe he did, I don't know. But like, imagine if that was his family, like on the table, or not the table, the bed, whatever. Um, like he wouldn't want to be treated like that either. And kind of just like shook because I just stood there and I was like, that sounded like a scene from a movie, like there's a better way to go about that. And it was just... And like everyone else is like, yeah, that happens all the time. And I'm just like, damn. Anyway, I didn't want to leave it on a bad note, but I just wanted, I kind of figured like you guys would wonder what I was talking about. But yeah, that's basically what was going on that night. Um, thank you guys for watching this vlog. I know that was kind of short, but if you guys want to see more um, real time updates and stuff about my nursing journey and such. So if you want to follow my Instagram and my Snapchat, it'll be linked down below. Um, you can follow me on there. I know that I literally have only like 20 days left of nursing school So if you guys want to keep up with me through those media I know a lot of you have already like contacted me through there and like I'm getting around to it Or if I didn't already answer it in the Q&A video um, But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog mm -hmm.